the five-month waiting period for Social Security Disability, SSDI. What is it and what does it mean for you? I have all the details right here in the video, so let's get right into it. I know in this video, I want to discuss with you a very important aspect of Social Security Disability Benefits, SSDI, and it is the five-month waiting period. How does it impact your monthly benefit and what does it mean for any retroactive or lump sum payments you may have coming? That's what I want to discuss for you here in the video, so let's get right into it. However, really quickly before we do, thanks so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video. It's totally free to do so and I'm here for you every single day, no matter what, to bring you all the latest updates and to help walk you through all of these very complicated issues with Social Security and your monthly benefit so you can understand what's going on as well as maximizing your monthly checks as there's a lot of things going on out there and we know things are changing very very, very rapidly, but no matter what, I'm here to help you out as much as I possibly can each and every day. That's my dedication, that's my commitment, and that's my promise to you and everybody here in the community. And as always, I'm sticking to it. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Let's get into it and talk about the five-month waiting period for SSDI beneficiaries. Now, to be fair, I'll probably be making at least a couple other videos about this topic simply because it's honestly really confusing, and that's why I want to break it down in little bites here one by one because I don't want to overload this video and put too much information in here because it's honestly just a lot of moving parts about the five month waiting period. There's a lot of different deadlines and a bunch of different abbreviations, all kinds of things like that. But I do want to brush on the surface of the five month waiting period. What does it mean for SSDI beneficiaries? We can discuss all that, what you need to be aware of. And then again, in follow up videos, I will come back and describe this in greater detail as we go. Okay. So hope that makes sense, but let's get into it and talk through this. Now, if you are somebody who is either waiting to be approved for SSDI benefits, or maybe you are in the process of submitting an application for SSDI benefits, then you're probably uh, aware of this five month waiting period. You've probably heard about it and you're probably watching this video because you want more information, right? Well, that's great. And again, I hope this helps you out to better understand this a little bit further. So here's what it comes down to. We need to understand an abbreviation first within the Social Security Administration. It is EOD, EOD, which stands for Established Onset Date. What does that mean? That is the date in which your disability has occurred, okay? So this is the date in which you have become disabled. Now again, super unfortunate situation, but this is the reality for a lot of people out there. So again, this is a very important thing that we need to determine, which is established onset date, EOD. If you've ever looked on the Social Security website, you've probably come across this and maybe you've heard about it before, but this is a very important thing. Now, Social Security will, and in many instances, will pay out retroactive and lump sum payments to SSDI beneficiaries. Now, again, I will get into that in much greater detail in another follow-up video to this. I don't want to get ahead of myself here, but this is the important detail that we need to know. So here's what it comes down to. When you submit your application for Social Security Disability Benefits. Now, again, we know right now the lag time from the date that your application is submitted until applications are usually approved is very long right now. Usually, we're sitting at about a year. Now, again, that's in many instances. It could be a lot longer than that. It could be a year and a half. It could be two years. It could be a couple years before you hear if you're actually approved for benefits. So again, right now, the lag time is about one year to process SSDI benefit applications, okay? So we know it's a long process here, but here's the thing. We want to establish your EOD as in when you are approved for Social Security Disability Benefits, SSDI benefits, they're going to establish your EOD, established onset date, and then they will actually apply this five month waiting period. So essentially it says this much. Let me give you a quick example on this to better illustrate what this actually means. Let's just say that you have an EOD, established onset date of January 1st, 2023. Nice round date, right? So anyway, I'm just using this for example purposes, okay? So let's just say that you have an EOD of January 1st, 2023. The first five full months after you've been approved for benefits, you don't get benefits. You will not be paid benefits for the first five months. They will pay out benefits on the sixth month of that. So basically the first five months, what do you get? Well, nothing. You don't even get a receipt. 
you get nothing, literally. It's a waiting period. Now, why would they do something like this? Somebody has become disabled. It's an unfortunate situation. They are no longer able to engage in work at the capacity that they once did or can't work at all. Why would we be denying people for five full months of benefits? Well, the purpose behind this is to basically uh, determine if the disability is actually a long-term disability. That's basically the reason why they do this, okay? So, super sad situation, kind of unfortunate, but this is something that's in play, something we gotta be aware of, and there's nothing we can do about it, okay? So, the first five months uh, from the date of the, EOD, uh, of the EOD, established on said date, the first five months are not payable with SSDI benefits, but the sixth full month is actually the month in which benefits would be arriving in this case, right? So in this case, it would be June by the time the payments would actually be arriving to the person, okay? So important stuff, we gotta understand this. And again, so once you are approved for uh, Social Security Disability Benefits, this will all be laid out and you'll likely get some kind of communication from Social Security that'll lay out the exact situation as in, hey, that we've got the five month waiting period, we're not gonna pay you for these months, but your benefits will start on X date or whatever, you know what I mean? So it will be laid out in some kind of communication from Social Security. You're probably going to be receiving a lot of paperwork from them, so I would highly advise reading through all of it because Maybe it's a lot of form letters. Maybe it's a lot of just content to read, but here's the thing. It's gonna help you out to better understand the situation and how you can maximize those benefits as well as everything you need to know as far as getting your benefits and making sure that they are paid, you know, to you in the proper amount of time. So things like that. You wanna read through all of that. There's gonna be a lot of documentation. I would highly advise if you can, just read it. If anything, it'll educate yourself. I mean, seriously, it's not bad to know this information. It's very, very helpful and again, I will come back in a separate video and break this down a little bit further. But in the next video, I do want to get into the details of the lump sum check and the lump sum payouts and retroactive payments from Social Security uh, in the event that you are somebody who has filed a Social Security disability um, application and how much they will pay out. So pretty cool stuff. In a lot of cases, they will pay out a lot of money for a lot of people. Now, obviously, not everybody, but it could be thousands upon thousands of dollars, even tens of thousands of dollars, depending on uh, how quickly they approve your application, how much time we go back as in retroactive payments back to you, as well as the amount of your monthly benefit, right? So we could be looking at a lot, a lot of money for a lot of people. So anyway, I wanna discuss all those details in a separate video because otherwise, honestly, if I get into that right now, it's just gonna make this video very confusing. But um, we'll get into that and we'll break down those details in a separate one. But this is the five month waiting period. It's basically just saying, hey, we wanna prove that your disability is a long-term thing and uh, we're gonna make you wait five months. Really? Okay. <laughs> whatever. Uh, I don't really agree, but okay. I'm pretty sure the medical, um, you know, when you submit your applications for SSDI, you've got to prove a disability, right? You need to prove a long-term disability, something that's going to last at least 12 months or longer or permanent disability, or there's other aspects of it as well. But here's the thing. It would seem like the medical aspects of this would probably prove that, hey, it's a real disability and it's probably going to last a while, right? So uh, you would think that that would be proof enough, but apparently not. We still got to go through a five month waiting period and that's what this is, okay? So anyway, make sure to stay tuned. I will come back with that other video and break down the details of the lump sum and the retroactive payments in that. Otherwise, if you, la if you have any questions, comments, concerns, things like that, please make sure to leave those down below in the comment section. I do my best to read as many as I can, as well as come back and make dedicated videos where I see fit. But I hope this gives you a better understanding of the five month waiting period, EOD established on said date, as well as what Social Security looks at once you've been approved, looking back how they establish your payments and how much you're going to get as a lump sum payment based on your EOD to present, uh, to present time minus five months equals lump sum payment. Okay? Make sense? Anyway, hope this one helps you. Again, please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other thousands upon thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, enjoy your day, take care, have a good one, and catch you again later.